we will now take up the various disorders in the skeletal system. So, skeletal disorders is what we will be discussing here and our main focus is about the bones. The first one that we talk of is arthritis. Arthritis is normally termed as aching joints. Aching joints. Here the problem is with the joints, there is severe pain in the joints and there can be different reasons for it. So based on what reason is responsible for this aching joint or this arthritis, arthritis can also be classified into three categories. First is known as osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis. In osteoarthritis, there is there are two reasons basically. One, there is degeneration of the cartilage which covers the bone, and second is there is decreased production of synovial fluid. To understand this, we'll draw the simple sketch of our synovial joint. That will help us understand both this type of arthritis as well as the other one. We said that both the bones have a cover or a small layer, thin layer of cartilage. Here also these are articulating cartilages. Surrounding this, there is this synovial membrane. We are not drawing the complete capsule. Now, in case of osteoarthritis, one reason is this cartilage, it starts to degenerate. And when this cartilage starts to degenerate, say here the cartilage has degenerated. And this degenerated cartilage gets replaced by bony spur. So here is an outgrowth which is formed. Again, if this happens here, this outgrowth will be formed here. And when a person walks, whenever there is weight on this joint, these two bones, they come closer. And when they come closer, these pointy structures, which are known as the spur, they touch each other and this gets extremely painful. This is one reason. That is why it is also termed as a degenerative disease because the tissue is degenerating, cartilage is degenerating. The second reason we said is less secretion of the synovial fluid. Synovial fluid, which is in this space, it acts as a lubricant. And when this lubricant is there, the soft, um, smooth movement of the joint takes place. But if this fluid is less, then the bones hit each other or they start touching each other. When they touch, there is again a painful uh, situation. So it could be because of formation of this bony spurs where the cartilage degenerates and this outgrowth is formed. So reason for this is degeneration of cartilage and the other reason is less synovial fluid. So this lubricant is less. These are two main reasons. And this is also age related. As we get older, this kind of disorders, because the tissues with age, they start to degenerate. So this kind of disorder may appear. This type of arthritis is known as osteoarthritis because it is straight away related with bone and cartilage. The second type of arthritis is known as rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis. In case of rheumatoid arthritis, there is inflammation of the synovial membrane. This membrane, it gets inflammated and because of which there is swelling in the joint and it is extremely painful. So the reason here is inflammation of synovial membrane. And if we look at the joints, in case of normal situation, the finger is going to look like this. Here is the nail and here we have these uh, digits. But 
if there is this kind of arthritis that is rheumatoid arthritis then these joints they swell so here there would be a bulge which is due to swelling of the synovial membrane and inflammation and it gets extremely painful even to hold a pen also this is again known as rheumatoid arthritis pain in the joints the third type is known as gout gout is due to accumulation of crystals of uric acid in this synovial space so this is due to accumulation of crystals of uric acid in the sci or in the joint we can write so here in this space there would be crystals which would get accumulated and again the same thing happens when the crystals get accumulated they stick somewhere and when they are walking they actually hit each other or they touch each other that which is very painful gout is a dietary disorders if we are consuming too much of proteins which are responsible for formation of this uric acid crystals and if they are not getting eliminated from the body in a proper manner then this condition is caused so this is degenerative disorder age related disorder this is actually an autoimmune disorder where our immune system starts targeting the synovial membrane and gout is a dietary disorder when there is some problem in the diet and the body is not able to eliminate the those uric acid because uric acid is a nitrogenous waste it has to be eliminated in the body so first it is ammonia which is formed then urea and then uric acid so if urea is not getting elimin eliminated or substances by which uric acid formation is higher then these conditions can be seen all these three come under the category of arthritis and the common name as we said is aching joint so in all these three situation there is painful joint condition and walking or working becomes extremely difficult because the joints are painful they may get swollen so walking working with hands writing or lifting certain things all these things become extremely difficult so this is the first disorder that is arthritis the next disorder that we are talking of is osteoporosis and this is the most common bone related disorder in old age now what exactly happens when a person is suffering from osteoporosis and then we'll see the causes in osteoporosis the bone density decreases and this is due to decreased activity of osteoblast decreased activity of osteoblasts osteoblasts are the cells which give rise to osteocytes and they also help in formation of the matrix so now here because of the less activity of osteoblasts less osteocytes are produced and the matrix would be produced less so there is less osteoid production less osteoid production osteoid is the matrix which is without mineral so we can say mineral less matrix which is basically the protein and now there is calcium phosphorus salts which get added into this matrix so our matrix in the bone has two parts one is the organic protein part and then there is mineralization of it so the first thing which is secreted is the osteoid this is the organic part without any mineral deposition and now calcium and phosphorus salts would get added and that gives the hard bony matrix so basically what is happening here is due to aging or other uh, reasons osteoid production is less if matrix is less the organic part is less less calcium will be deposited less phosphorus would be deposited because of which the bone density becomes less and as i said in the beginning this is the most common problem bone related problem in aging people now the reasons what is responsible for this osteoporosis 
So reasons for osteoporosis. First reason is lack of vitamin D. There is less or lack of vitamin D. Vitamin D helps in calcium absorption. Vitamin D is responsible for calcium absorption. So if there is less vitamin D, less calcium would be absorbed. If less calcium would be absorbed, less would get deposited into this organic matter. That means basically we are saying that there is less calcium, less phosphorus. And that is why the bone density becomes less. So lack of vitamin D is again a very, very important factor for it or cause for osteoporosis. Another cause is malnourishment or malnutrition. If a person is not taking proper diet, now what exactly we mean by proper diet? Vitamin D can be synthesized in our body in presence of UV rays which are coming from the sun. But the raw material which are like some kind of steroids, they are required in the body. So unless and until you take those lipids in presence of sunlight, those would be converted into vitamin D. Second, we would need calcium which can get absorbed by this or with the help of vitamin D. So Diet should be rich in calcium or calcium salts and there should be sufficient fat or lipid which is actually acting as a raw material for vitamin D synthesis. So malnutrition can also be one reason. Amongst females, the reason could be one more. During menopause, lower or decreased estrogen level during menopause. During menopause, when the estrogen level starts to fall, lower estrogen level decreases the activity of osteoblasts. That means we are coming back to the same thing. If there is less estrogen, then osteoblast activity will be less, less osteoid would be secreted and if less osteoid, then bone density would be less and that is why females suffer maximum or, or because of this osteoporosis especially during menopause time and here neither vitamin D nor malnutrition nothing is the uh, reason it is what is happening in their body as a normal uh, change which takes place. So females normally suffer from this during the menopause time. There is one more reason for this and that is known as Cushing syndrome. Cushing syndrome. In Cushing syndrome, some glucocorticoids like cortisol concentration is high. Cortisol is high and high cort cortisol again reduces the activity of reduces activity of osteoblasts and if osteoblasts are less again there would be less osteoid secreted less deposition and the bone density would decrease so these are two main bone related disorders one is called arthritis where there is aching joint we have seen three reasons for it and osteoporosis, which is again age-related disorder, but at the same time, there can be other reasons for it. And for females, the main reason of having osteoporosis is age and this menopause time, which is around 45 to 50 years of their age, when menstrual cycle stops. At that time, this estrogen level falls and ultimately it is going to go down to the basic, very minimum level. So they suffer from this osteoporosis to the maximum. So these two are the main bone related disorders. With this, we have completed the chapter of locomotion and movement.